Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Florida's Attorney General Ashley Moody says her office is investigating complaints of nursing homes pocketing stimulus checks meant for residents in their care. These are the folks that cannot protect themselves. She wants you to know it's illegal. That was not what was intended by the CARES Act and it's unacceptable, won't be tolerated, and we're making sure we get that word out. Kristen Knapp with the Florida Health Care Association, which represents over 80 percent of the state's nursing homes, says initially there was some confusion about how nursing homes should handle the stimulus checks. We do care for Medicaid residents. Facilities wanted to ensure the money wouldn't disqualify their residents from receiving Medicaid, but that issue has since been cleared up. These federal dollars are treated almost like a tax um, tax refund so they don't count against their Medicaid eligibility. It's important to check with your loved one's care facility before filing a complaint. While your loved one may not see a physical check, the money could have been deposited into their resident trust fund. You know, it's a similar to like the personal personal needs allowance where that money is there to use um, for whether it's, um, you know, buying a gift for a loved one or, you know, however they see fit. And the attorney general says reach out to her office if you do have reason to suspect foul play. Call our office 1-866-9-NO-SCAM. Nursing homes will be holding a meeting Thursday to provide their members with additional guidance on how to handle the checks. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.